India's first small-scale straight-grade technology pellet plant with a capacity of 6 lakh tons production per annum. Mrs. VT Corp is executing the basic and detailed engineering of the entire plant in collaboration with Uralmash, Russia. The project management and site supervision are taken care of by VT Corp. The core equipment of the indurating machine is supplied by Uralmash, Russia and a significant indigenous content is sourced from VT Corp India. 63% grade raw iron ore below 10 mm in size is stored in an open yard. This iron ore is picked up from the storage yard by mechanized dumpers. Dump hoppers transfer these materials onto the ore reclaiming conveyor. preset quantity of raw iron ore stored in the bin is drawn with the help of a wave feeder that is installed below the bin. Conveyor transports the material from the bin and feeds it into the dryer. Moisture laden feed is passed through the rotating dryer. Hot gases produced by the hot air generator are blown through the feed material. This causes evaporation of moisture present in the feed material. Thus, the moisture content of the output material from the dryer is controlled below 1%. Furnace oil or coal gas is used to produce hot gases in the hot air generator. The hot air blow carries fine dust particles. ID fan helps to maintain negative pressure inside the dryer. A set of cyclone and bag filters collect the dust from the flue gases and prevent escape into the atmosphere. The output of the dryer is fed to the ball mill for size reduction. The raw additives, limestone, coal and bentonite of size below 10 mm are also fed to the ball mill along with the dry iron ore in preset proportions. The ball mill capacity is designed to produce an output with a plane surface area of more than 1850 per square centimeter. The dried ore is crushed with the help of high chrome steel balls. Negative pressure in the ball mill is maintained by an ID fan, cyclone and set of bag filters. Ball mill discharge is carried by the bucket elevator and stored at the day bins in the proportionate bin building. A single horizontal shaft paddle type mixer homogenizes and mixes the pellet feed. The iron ore mixed with limestone, bentonite and coke is sent to the mixer. Water from the process water header or dust in the form of slurry from the static head tank is added into the mixer. This is done to adjust the moisture percentage in the mixed material to the desired level. Output of the mixer 
is conveyed over a set of mixed material transport conveyors and stowed in surge bins. Auxiliary units of the plant, like the compressor building, centralized electrical room and the workshop are logistically located near these conveyors. Three 6.5 meter diameter pelletizing discs, equipped with variable frequency drives, are envisaged to take up green pellets to correlate with the required production rate of fired pellets. Green pellets discharged from the pelletizing disc are transported over a horizontal flat belt conveyor to the indurating building. Green pellets discharged from the pelletizing disc are transported to the reciprocating conveyor. The green pellets are thus spread over a wide belt conveyor and fed to a double-deck roller screen to remove both oversized and undersized green pellets. are different zones in the indurating furnace. Updraft drying zone. In the updraft drying zone, the gas flow removes water from the lower half of the pellet bed and heats this layer to a temperature that prevents condensation when the gas flow is reversed for downdraft drying. Downdraft drying zone. Heat for the downdraft drying air is supplied from the firing zone. Air for the remaining heating cycle comes from the first cooling zone via direct recuperation duct. Gas from the downdraft wind boxes is discarded and exhausted to the atmosphere through wind box exhaust fan. Preheating and firing zone. Dual fuel burners supply heat for induration by firing heavy furnace oil or coal gas into the firing zone. At the end of the firing zone, most regions of the bed would have reached the end temperature of about 1300 to 1350 degrees centigrade. Cooling zone 1 and 2. Fans 1 and 2 supply cool air to the pellets through wind boxes. The heat of the pellets carried away by the cold air is reused in the system. On sized green pellets are fed to the indurating machine, and off sized green pellets are recycled through the balling circuit. Pellets from the discharge hopper are conveyed over a belt into the segregation bin at the hearth layer. Here, a portion of large sized pellets leaving the indurating machine is diverted to the feed end of the indurating machine. This is used to form a protection layer for the pallet car. This protection layer is called as hearth layer. Pellets then conveyed by a product belt conveyor and moving tripper car arrangement into the product storage bins. The product pellet from the bin 
is drawn in and weighed with the help of a wave feeder and fed on to the trucks. This will be a model for small-scale iron ore pellet plant with straight-grade technology. Many more such plants are expected to be built in the near future.